Just a couple of last things to note about Display Suite. It's beyond the scope of this course to go into depth on Display Suite, but I just want to highlight a couple of things. Down here at the bottom, if you're in the layouts for a hotel in full display mode, so full content, scroll down to the bottom. Display Suite allows you to do template overrides. Template overrides in Drupal 8 involve working with Twig, the new templating system that Drupal 8 uses. If I want to take a look at this particular file that's governing this layout, it's in modules, DS, templates, DS2 call stacked fluid html.twig, and here's what the file looks like. If you've ever done any theme work in Drupal at all, you'll notice that this is very, very different. You can't use PHP in these files because it uses Twig. However, that said, there's a still a few things you can do. Now, one thing I recommend is you never ever edit this file. You would take this file, copy it into your theme directory, and edit it there. Of course, that requires that you are not using one of the core themes that comes with Drupal. So if we were using our custom theme that we did earlier, or Mayo, which we installed earlier, we could easily create a templates folder and create this file in there using one of the suggested names they have here. So that's one way to update our layout. Another way to update this layout would be to use custom classes. So go ahead and click on custom wrappers and you'll see that the wrappers for each of the regions are currently divs and I can change the wrapper for any of my regions. We don't need to do that, but we can also add custom classes into Display Suite. So if I click Manage Region and Field CSS Classes and I add, say, Hotel Left and Hotel Right, I can even add classes for individual fields. So for instance, the Image field, which is currently not left aligned or wrapping text around it, I could add my own class in here. Well, I've added these two. I'm going to click Save Configuration. Now to apply those styles, I come back down here to Custom Classes, and I say that the class for the left is Hotel Left, and class for right is Hotel Right, and click Save. Now when I go back out to a hotel, and I view the source, You'll notice here is the CSS for my DS2 call stack fluid. Down here for the left column, group left was there. Now I've got hotel left and group left, and now I can update my CSS to reflect that without creating a whole template override. So just a couple of different ways that you can use Display Suite to completely manage the display and make this look any way you want.